Hi, um, I'm Sandy Henshaw and uh, welcome to my first um, like recording of um, where I am today. So um, you have probably heard a lot of, seen some stories, if you've found out that you've got cancer in, in some way or whatever and seen video tutorials of people um, who've experienced it and it's all very glamorized and um, they're looking wonderful. Um, I'm going to show you my story that is completely um, not going to be, uh, it's not going to be um, edited so much, it's just going to be what I'm going through. Um, I think receiving news of anything like this is never, never good and it certainly is life changing and it makes you think about where you're going to go from here. So basically let me just give you a summary of, of uh, who I am and what, why I'm doing this is because um, I was self-employed, um, single parent and worked my butt off to get my business up and running and everything is going so well. I kind of was very much in like work was everything and my, my health probably was secondary and um, went into extreme sports, did um, you know CrossFit training and did uh, you know, um, you know uh, ran marathons and extreme sports to sort of validate that I'm strong and I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. And, uh, and I guess these sort of things, they're great, um, but they can also have a toll on impact on your life. So not everybody, but just in me in particular, my journey is, is that I actually have um, essential thrombocytemia. So I'm, my platelets are extremely high and they're not always easy to, um, manage so I've been under hematology care for quite some years since I was 28. Um, in the last month um, I had a suspected lump in my breast and I it was diagnosed and to cut a long story short it was it, I found out that I had breast cancer so I am um, okay sort of like fight flight syndrome for the last month of like how on earth am I going to handle the treatment and where am I going to go and how am I going to protect myself and the first thing I needed to do was to reevaluate my life like what is important to me yes health is important but you know was I prepared to cancel that that one client that's booked in for a full leg wax versus a CT scans booked on that same day like oh no I couldn't cancel the client you know it, it, I had to have a friend say to me Sandy you, you need to have a CT scan and, and get this checked out and um, and it's just all spiraled from there and I think what's happened to me is that I've um, although I I'm diagnosed as having um, you know grade 3 cancer and and it's yeah it's pretty hard to take but you know you look ways of being positive about that and and taking taking whatever decisions that you feel are right for you. The first thing I found is that with chemotherapy is having the chemotherapy for me was the, the tablets that I've been taking pre having operation and all sorts is that my levels of energy have completely dropped from being a very, very fast paced person to cycling to work to, to you know, playing tennis three times a week and doing body pump and spinning classes and everything else that my body was slowing down. It literally couldn't handle the impact of sports that I was once doing. So that was the first thing. And the next thing was to reevaluate um, why I'm in this stage. So wh why did I get to this stage? Number one, I missed a mammogram this year and I thought, I don't need that. You know, I had it last year. I'm fine. I don't, you know, it's not important. Um, I'll just check. It'll be fine. And uh, it wasn't until um, this sort of like um, lump that I had on my chest, which is like still undiagnosed, we're still not sure what that is, um, from a CrossFit training you know, exercise I did. I slammed a 35 kilo bar onto my chest and it had an impact, but strangely enough, it, it just bruised slightly and then it just disappeared. And then a few months later, this like massive thick lump, which I think you could probably just about see, came up out of nowhere and I thought oh that's a bit strange and it wasn't me that picked it out it was a friend of mine she said my god Sandy what on earth is that so um, I went to go to a 
specialist went to the GP, they sent me on to the hospital, they said, oh no, you know, x-ray hasn't proven anything, had um, an ultrasound, nothing came up, and it, they just left it, you know, they just said, GP said, you know, you doesn't seem to be impacting your health, you seem fine, you know, your blood levels seem fine. Um, but then things kind of like after a few months, uh, I think about two months, two or three months passed by, maybe three, um, and I suspected a lump on my breast, and I suspected doing some breathing exercises, and I felt this lump, and I thought, okay, all right, this is not good. Um, so when I got it checked out and found out that, okay, long story short, I found out from biopsy, mammogram, that I had breast cancer. So it's, it, it's been diagnosed and um, the suspected lump has now been revealed and now I'm in a flight, flight syndrome to, to protect myself. Now what the reason why I'm videoing this is because I want women that are out there to see what it's like. So I'm going to be taking you through my chemo experiences, what it's like to maybe lose hair, which I've already started losing a little bit, but not greatly that I need a wig or anything like that. It's not that drastic. Um, I've been told that cold cats can help, but I'm yet to see how that goes. And uh, in the process of going through Guy's Hospital to have oncology care, to have either operation, which I'll let you know about once that's diagnosed, and then the, well, whether I'm having um, a, what they call it, bilateral, um, which is a mastectomy, and or a lumpectomy, which um, knowing that this uh, cancer that I have is kind of like a genetic cancer, so it means it's a little bit more serious than, than hormonal cancer. Um, it means that this, basically this cancer has a little backpack on its back and it's ready to travel, so if that's the case, then these titties are coming off. <laughs> There's no question asked. But I, I'm, I'm going to show you my journey, um, and also I'm also going into workshops with um, Macmillan um, Cancer Care, which have started up this C Factor workshop, which is fantastic. And uh, you're going to see some people along my journey as well, who um, I've met along the way, which I'm really excited to meet people who are also in the same situation as me, or perhaps have had this, have gone through cancer and have come out of it, and you're going to meet them as well. And it's not going to be a you know a dull gloomy thing. This is going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be you know it's going to be sad as well. It's going to be real. It's not going to be makeup, glamorized pictures of myself. It's going to be what it's like being in chemotherapy, what it's like to have radiotherapy, and how it is after an operation. I want you guys to see the real gist of what it's like, but also. A positive aspect is to get yourself out there, get yourself with your friends, get connected, um, set up a WhatsApp page, a page for yourself that you can send out to close friends that can be on hand for you to help help you, me in, in this case, um, with hospital visits and also decisions that need to be made. Um, one thing I have started doing is recording every single gyne uh, oncologist um, meeting that I have and hematology meeting that I have so that I don't forget what's going on. So peeps, I am going to keep you up to date. I'm going to be strong and I really hope that you follow me and and join my journey. It's going to be fun and it's going to be it's going to be sandy style. It's going to be a bit crazy and a bit funny and wacky. So enjoy the ride and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.